Devin Murray. Thank you very much. Uh, just so you all know, I'm the most socially awkward person in the world. And yeah, this is going to be fun. So my first question is the biggest one. J.K. Rowling called you a traitor. <laughs> yeah, she called me out the other day. Uh, somebody was asking me what they should wear coming to this convention. <clears throat> and they were like, should I wear Slytherin or Gryffindor? And I was like, Slytherin, of course. And then J.K. Rowling sent me a tweet calling me a traitor. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, no, I think it's a bit of fun. Like, I've always been a Slytherin. Uh, I'd done the Pottermore like, years ago when it first came out, and I was a Slytherin then. And I've stuck by it. So, yeah. So, um, I think this goes for many fandoms, not just the Harry Potter fandom, but a lot of the time there are characters that are never explicitly together in the story. It's never outright said. You know where I'm going. I know where um, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of just accepted by the fans of, like, it's a thing. I don't care what the author yeah. says. It's a thing. Uh, I was wondering if you felt that that was the case for Seamus and Dean. Yeah, like I always said. Oh, I, thank God. I, okay. I roll with it. I was really scared to ask this. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, you see, last year in Ireland, we had the referendum for gay marriage. So I, I always supported it. And Yay. the day that it passed, <laughs> I put up a tweet saying, from today, Seamus and Dean could have got married. Um, and then just Twitter just I went insane and I couldn't get back on Twitter again. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. So uh, Demas was trending online worldwide and everything, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But no, I always thought, look, I roll with it. And Who was the most fun to work with on the set? None of them. They were all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I hated them all. Yes, yes, we can tell. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they were great. Uh, we all got on like so well. We all started when we were 11 years old. Some of us started in around 10, 11, 12. I was 11 when I started. We just went off like exploring the studios. So we just kind of got up to no good and we went into places where we were not allowed to go. <laughs> so the studios that we were filming in was an old World War II aircraft hangar and they used to hold like all the, the bombs and everything there. So we were like, that's really, really cool. Let's go explore. So we went down <laughs> like all these crazy tunnels and with that like loads of the producers and everything come chasing us saying get out of there get out of there get out of there <laughs> we're like okay and they were saying like but underneath the runway like from uh, the main studio and the other studio there was a uh, they said there was explosives underneath it and we're thinking <laughs> 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 now we really want to go down Robert England who plays Freddy Krueger he was talking to me last week actually it was really weird I'll tell you something about him <laughs> so sorry I'm just going to go off on another story uh, so I've known Robert like for years and years and years and he's a lovely man but I've always been terrified of him like growing up as most people have <laughs> so he came over to me there last weekend and he was like hey Devin I had a dream about you last night <laughs> what <laughs> Freddy Krueger just had a dream about me I've had nightmares over you like all my childhood <laughs> so that freaked the <laughs> out of me <laughs> but uh, I really want to drop the mic now because you said don't drop it I'm not going to drop it. <laughs> well, thank you bad. so much for coming tonight. No problem. Thank you very much. I hope you all have a great time here.